At different times in our lives, we all need a new perspective. In the 1960s, there was a young man who had a dream of becoming a famous musician. He knew exactly what he wanted, so he left high school and began to play his music wherever people would listen. But as a high school dropout and with little experience, he found it difficult to get work as a musician. Before long, he found himself playing in small, dirty clubs and bars, sharing his gift with a handful of drunks night after night became a discouraging habit. This was not his dream. He had dreamt of playing to sell out crowds across America and around the world. He had dreamed of seeing his name in lights, of walking down the street and having people ask him for autographs, of having his albums in every music store. He even dreamed one day he would play to a packed baseball stadium, an absurd thought in the 1960s. He had stumbled upon difficult times. Financially, he was broke. Professionally, he was failing. And his only joy in life was the support of his girlfriend. They had so little money, they would sleep in laundromats to save the expense of a hotel. But one day, she got sick of life on the road. This gypsy lifestyle was not her dream either. She had dreamed of being married to a famous musician. It was not the life she had imagined, so she left him. With his only joy in life gone, he decided to commit suicide. That night, the young musician made a half-hearted attempt to end his life by drinking a bottle of furniture polish and a bottle of vodka. The next day, very sick, he checked himself into a mental institution. Less than three weeks later, he checked himself out. He was a new man. He was refreshed, enthusiastic, and excited about life. He was cured, but they hadn't given him any medication. And it wasn't anything that doctors or nurses had said to him. The other patients had cured him. They had reminded him of how gifted and fortunate he was. They had shown him how much more life could be. They had given him a new perspective on life. That day, that same young man left the mental institution resolved to pursue his dream and become a world-class musician. He was determined to travel and work and do whatever was necessary to achieve his dream. Three years later, he wrote a song called Piano Man, and Billy Joel went on to become one of the most famous musicians of his generation. And yes, on June 22nd and 23rd in 1990, Billy Joel played to sell out crowds of 90,000 people at Yankee Stadium. We all need a startling new perspective, at least once in our lives. But from time to time, it's healthy for all of us to step back from our lives and take another look at who we are and where we are and what we're doing.